Hey fellas, so I'm trying out this this system, Great Campaigns for American Civil War, um, the Avalon Hill version. So far what I've been reading the rules, I like a lot. And um, yeah, I'm going to play a little scenario I put together. I'm having the uh, Confederates work its way up north to take this position where Sedwick is um, stationed. So let's see how this plays out. I'm playing with the basic rules. Rules are pretty clean, simple, easy to digest. So let's see what happens. So, Confederates roll a two, Union rolls a five, but the Union are going to hold and pass. So, let's uh, see who I'm going to activate. We'll activate Anderson, and let's see their roll. Rolls a two, becomes a three. So, we will do... Move up one, and then we'll make it a normal attack, because a normal attack will cost us two. So it uses up all our points. And so what do we have here? We're in, I think that is rough. So that's rough. So their artillery is going to be halved. Let me zoom in. So your artillery will be half, so they're going to be one and a half, rounded up to a two. So two and a two is four, so they have four strength. We can't use artillery in the rough, as you can see here. The attack or artillery is zero. So, so therefore we're ten, so that's two to one. Um, yeah, so two to one is going to give us a plus one for, um, what do you call it again, ratio. And then we're going to get another plus one because we have a uh, tactical of three value and they have a two. So we get another plus one. So that's a plus two to our roll. And that's about it. We're not crossing any streams or river. So let's roll and add a plus two. All right. Six for the Confederates becomes an eight. A four. So Confederates get a plus four. So it's a plus four. Let's look at this. Again, they had four going in. So plus four, the four going in. Uh, one DR. So I'm gonna lose one. This is order and route. And when they route, they'll be this uh, demoralized. So they go from a two to a one. Ooh, I don't even have. Oh, I gotta find. Uh, a counter for them to be a one so let me just use this for now and I'll change it later so to disorganize they have to route four hexes one two three four one two three four and let's give them a demoralize They lost a step. They got demoralized and they're disorganized. Now let's see what happens to Anderson. A plus 
four, and the same as a 10. Let's look at this. E A, so it ends and they advance. So that's what happens to them. So they moved up, they expended, oh by the way, they expended three. And I guess they've got disorganized. So they have a three and they expended one. Next, let's see what happens next. Initiative, six, three. So we will activate Hill, the core. And so let's roll. one but he gets plus two so it's a three so we'll move up one two three and he's here next uh, again it is confederates let's see do I want to move Anderson? Uh, yes, I'll move Anderson and move him up. They're too far away for him to reach. If I would um, activate this core, he's got to be within three hex. So, can't get him. So let's roll to see. So he rolled a five, plus one is a six, so he can move six. One, two, okay. Looks like we're gonna do a battle again. One, two, three. So that's three, we have six, we have three left. So we're gonna spend two to do a normal attack. So we'll do a normal attack on him. They have, their attack is halved and artillery is zero, so, so they have no artillery for this turn. They're actually, and let me go get the, I have to get the counter for that. Hold on. since yesterday so this is actually what the counter should be actually it's half sort of halved so it's halved to our 10 so basically we're 10 to 1 on the ratio Let's look at this. So we're going to be 10 to 1. That's a plus 9. So we're going to get a plus 9 so far. And then we take our leaders, not our leader, but our commanders. And he's a 2, he's a 3. So we get another plus 1. So that's plus 10. Um, what else do we have going on? That is it. So it's just a plus 10. Yeah, because of, 
like I say, you take the ratio, you take the tactical, which we did. There's no flank. None of these are prepared because we're doing a normal attack. And on the defensive side, none of these apply. All right, so plus 10 to the roll. Okay, one, four, and one. So we become 11, and there are 10. I mean, there are one. So one from 11 is 10, so we're on the plus 10 column here. And they were a half, so this is what they're gonna lose. They'll lose three. The D arm, so they're going to be killed off. So right was killed off, and is gone. Now let's see what damage we took. Uh, we were a ten. Uh, it's not going to be anything. It's going to be advance. So Anderson is going to advance into that hex, and it's still a fatigue too. A lot of fun. I'm really liking this system. Like I said, it's clean, simple, to the point, and I'm more of a crunchy um, gamer, war gamer. And let's see now. This is what we have left. Six and a five. A Sedwick want to stay there. There's, he want to move across. But the objective is to hold this position here. So he's going to hold. And so it's a pass and it's going to go over to Hill. We'll take this, get a plus two to the roll. It's a two plus another two becomes a four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. By the way, uh, he has about 5,000 men. So. At least he has a force with him. Let's move up on this. And he's at a two fatigue. Now, I'll probably push them one more. Mm. Uh, you know what? I'm going to pass and pass and let the turn go. No, you know, I'm gonna push one more. And he is five and a three. And we'll roll. Uh, I have to roll. He's gonna be unextended, actually. Because once you choose somebody first to get to a fatigue three, they have to roll on the extended. And let's see what he's gonna roll. He rolled a five. So on the extended march, all Confederates, he rolled a five. There's no modifiers. So not no effect. If he would have rolled a six, he would have been disorganized, but he's good. And they rolled a five. But you add two more, becomes a seven. So he's going to move up one, two, three. He has four more. He's going to do a prepared, what is it called? He's going to do a prepared attack, which will cost him another four. So he'll do that. He'll get a plus one for that attack. So let's go through the modifiers. All right, this is what we have going on. So on the tactical, he's a five, 
he's a seven, so they're gonna get a plus two. He also gets a plus one for prepare, so that's plus three. And then we look at um, a ratio. That's gonna be a three, what are we in? Yeah, that's gonna be a three, half, one and a half, round it up to a two, so two and that is a 12. 12 to 12 is one to one. So nothing on the ratio dice modifiers. So we're gonna have a plus three to the roll. And let's see what happens on the battle. So we roll a two. And we roll the five, and they get a plus three, so it's five to five. And that puts us at zero. And again, these are these are 12, we said. So we look at this, and we come down to a zero. Disorganize. And for the Confederates, they're also 12. On the zero, they lose a step and disorganized. Okay. So let's set this up. Disorganized. Disorganized, so they go to a four and they lose a step down to eleven. So they drop down to eleven, they get disorganized. basically okay so this is how it is set up now next is gonna be we're just gonna pass both sides and we go into recovery so the way it works is first thing is um, if you have no fatigue, you can entrench, build other things and stuff like that, but we do have fatigue. Next is you lose two fatigues off of your units, so they can lose their fatigue, and if you're disorganized, you can then flip your units. Um, he will go to a fatigue one. Let's do this but he cannot flip his units because he's still fatigued. And then they will go to a fatigue two and they still stay disorganized for that reason. Uh, so that's how the rule works on recovery. Take a look. And let's look at it here. As you can see here, these are the things that you have to follow. This is the first one that you do. And then the next one, all units that are fatigue level one or more lose two fatigue levels. Replace each fatigue marker with a new marker. So on. All units now at fatigue level zero, which have been disorganized, uh, can flip their organized side. And then the last is if you're demoralized. So if you get you have to get to fatigue level zero to be able to flip. Um, you can have a fatigue one or two and flip. So just think through what I like about it. We'll end it here and uh, maybe I'll do a new one next time.